part two. Let's see if I can get through this without messing up. What we're going to want to do is flash our SD card with mainsail and the clipper. And we're going to use our Raspberry Pi program to do that. So what we're going to do is select the operating system we want. It's going to be under other specific purpose OS. We're going for 3D printing. And then we're going to go for mainsail. Select mainsail, the current version. You're going to want to flash the SD card that you picked. I would suggest formatting it, not quick formatting it, a full format. And then you're going to want to select the settings. I would suggest making the host name something you will remember and setting a username and password that you will remember. Make sure you configure your Wi-Fi. Put your Wi-Fi name and your password in. Select where you are and make sure you select the local settings. Hit save and you're going to want to hit write. Now this is going to take a couple minutes so I'm going to let you guys figure that out. It's going to write it, it's going to verify it, and then it's going to let you know when to take the SD card out. Now let's fast forward. Let's put our SD card in our Raspberry Pi right here. And let's power it up. And then what I use is a Starlink router so I can actually go into my router and look at my connected devices. And I'm going to find it right here. And it's going to give me my IP address right here. And this is what you're going to want to type in up here. And this is what we're going to be greeted with. Saying that it doesn't have a, a good to file. Which is okay right now. Let's hit machine. And let's update all these components. This is probably going to take a minute, but... I'd like to do it as it's fresh, so everybody's on the same page. Let's try again. It's going to give us errors, which is fine. Let's go up to this notification bell and click this. This is the password you created.
This is important that you do this. Hit submit. Good, we can exit out of this. Try again. It's gonna get rid of some of errors. Perfect, actually got rid of a lot. So that part's done. We can just get out of this for now. So now what we're gonna to wanna to do is we need to create the firmware for our motherboard. And that's where PuTTY comes into play. So you're gonna use that IP address that you logged in with on your browser. And I created a, a preset, so all I need to do is load it and hit open. Uh, just hit accept. You're going to log in with the username and password you created. And we should be greeted with this, which is good. Let's go to the Clipper website. And here's him copy and paste things I was talking about. We're going to start right here and copy this. Go back into putty, paste it. Looks like it wants my password again. Wait for it to do its thing. I hit enter when I put that code in. Okay, that seems to be done. Now we're gonna go to the next bit of code. I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna paste. And then this is how we need to get our firmware. Uh, this all seems to be correct. That Mega AVR, this is the correct model. So these are the correct options that we wanna set. And just to make sure, you go into my printer config. Yes, 25608, correct. So we're gonna hit Q for quit. And it should have asked me if I wanted to save. But let's see what happens. I'm going to hit make. And it's going to build what I just asked it to. All right. Now, the Raspberry Pi should have made our hex file for our motherboard. Let's exit out of this. Minimize, and this is where WinSCP comes in handy. So just like PuTTY, um, you want to log in with the IP address that you logged in with your browser. 
Um, I saved my username and password in these presets. So all I need to do is select my CR10, hit login. I'm going to hit add. You probably need that. And then it already brought me to the right folder, but if it doesn't bring you here, I'll show you how to get there. Basically, it's home. Well, this is the name of my computer, so this is the folder that you want, whatever the name of your computer is. Go to Clipper. Out. And this hex file is what you're looking for. You can basically grab this, drag it on your desktop. And then you can actually exit out of this. Perfect. So now, what we wanna do is flash our motherboard. So, I forgot to mention uh, how to flash. Uh, usually, your common slicer will flash. I use Super Slicer. Prusa Slicer will be the same. And Cura has a way to flash the motherboard as well. So, here's my micro USB. My motherboard is in this blue box right here. So, I'm going to power down my equipment. And unplug it. I don't know why mine's temperamental. And it needs to be unplugged in the on position for some reason. So I just plugged it into my computer, the motherboard. And I'm going to go to Super Slicer. And configuration flash printer firmware. I'm going to point it to where I dropped it, which happens to be on my desktop. I'm going to open it. And then it says it's ready. We'll hit flash and see what happens. And flashing failed. Perfect. Try that again. There we go, that's probably the problem. Now we'll hit flash. Perfect, success. So now you can disconnect everything. <clears throat> out of this doing Need that no more it's power on the unit I'll get you on Safari so power on the pie power on the printer Give it a few minutes. Well, hopefully not a few minutes. Because we already did some main sale stuff. And now, I'm going to try and log in. It looks like it's still logging onto the internet. There we go. So now this wants a good printer configuration. And that is easy. What I do is I go to machine and I hit create file. 
and create at lowercase printer dot cfg hit create now open it and this is where the fun comes in on your notepad plus plus have your printer configuration you want to copy and paste all this good stuff oh that's not mine I want this one you want to copy and paste copy go back into your printer config hit paste and once you hit save and restart everything should be good to go oh I need to plug my printer in uh, the Raspberry Pi into the motherboard I'm going to do that now and it had found it here we go it's reading everything it's happy um i guess since i'm here i might as well show you how to add the webcam and that's really easy just go into your settings go into webcams i'm gonna add it oh, there i am it already found it because it's plugged into the USB port. I name it. Save. Do a fun little oh. firmware restart. Make sure everything's happy. And there we go. Let's see if we can talk to it. It's all to home. It's to Oh yeah, I don't know why I'm... that doesn't work. <laughs> well, that should be it. We'll be uh, off to more videos. I guess you'll want to know something else. Let's figure out what the next video needs to be.